Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Fishing Sim World as Pro Shops. Fishing Sim World game, I guess. Uh, but that is just the name of the shop. It's Shops Multiple, I guess. So it uh, is a uh, odd introduction. But anyway, guys, uh, today I am not doing competitions. I am only interested in catching the salmon. There are two types of salmon in this thick game. There's Coho and there's Chinook salmon now i've somehow caught a 6.11 kg chinook salmon i believe that was on my stream so do check that out please if you haven't already uh but today our goal is to catch a coho and chinook salmon now these salmons are in lakes uh they're at lake miller there's a four all four species there's there's two trouts and two salmons uh boulder lake also has them uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, Lake Miller and Lake Boulder. That's pretty much it. So Lake Boulder, I've done the previous episode in this lake. So we're going to go for Lake Miller. Uh, it's a huge lake. We're going to go for clear skies, morning. And that's how we're going to start off. Guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. I hope to see you uh, in the next episode as well. And I hope to see you uh, checking out the rest of the channel. Really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and sure. Let's let's teleport over here. Really appreciate all the support as well. We are almost almost or well past certain uh, certain points in the subscriber count. So I'm really happy for that. Uh, but it's going to be a very long journey. So. I hope it continues to rise. I hope I make, still make uh, great content and you guys love it as well. That's the whole point. So beautiful fall colors. That's what I love about this lake. A lot of greens. Those are evergreen trees. And the rest of the trees are uh, mostly orange. So let's just go ahead, cast this way and let's get a feel of what's going on. Okay, let me decrease the speed to 2. I'm using Worm, because why not? Let the sink in, and let's reel it in. Oh, okay, we have a Baz. Not in. Oh, there we go. There we go. Guys, that might be a Chinook already. Are you serious right now? Yes, that is... Sorry, not a Chinook. That's a Coho, isn't it? Oh, he's stuck. Nice, did not expect that at all. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, you're done. You're done for, fishy. Still taking out line. There we go. Oh, yes. Look at that. That's a coho salmon. That's a 2kg one. That's a little baby. Uh, although 2kg is very heavy for a fish. I mean, in real life. That's amazing. Uh, but wow. Right off the bat. You know, I thought I would have a hard time finding these salmons. Uh, but to get a coho, which was my main target in the first cast, is just amazing. Uh, guys, please don't forget. Like, subscribe, and comment below. I really appreciate all the support. <clears throat> I need every bit of it. Smaller channels need all the support they can get. And uh, I really appreciate it. So there's that Baz again. Not interested in that guy. There's a Pike. Do not care about those fish. We just want the salmon. Pike seems interested. I haven't caught a Pike in uh, in a in a while. So, oh, what? What do we get? What the heck was that? Okay, this game is oh great. What the heck is going on? This, uh, uh, yeah, this game is bugged. Uh, has lots of bugs, I meant to say. Is the fish gonna go or what? Okay, well, that did not work, so let's not do that again. Let's just get out of here. 
Yeah, you know what? That's disappointing. Uh, should have done a better job with the bugs. All right, so if we look at our sonar, there's tons of fish behind us. So let's go ahead, just turn it around and see how accurate the sonar is. We just came from the docks over there, so that's where the fish were. Unfortunately, in the catch summary, our co salmon is gone because I ended up restarting the map. But it's okay, I am super duper pooper happy. Oh, wow. Okie dokie. Let's slow it down a little bit. Retrieval speed of two. Uh oh. Something big. That is a very big bass. Looks really nice habitat here. That's a very fat piece <laughs> of fish. Uh, looks like 4kg, I would say. But I won't truly know until this guy holds it in his hand. That's when you really get the feel of how big the fish is. And from what I've noticed, uh, the fish fights for a certain amount of time, and no matter what you do, <clears throat> uh, it does not it does not determine how quickly the fish tires out, because it takes out the line no matter what my breaks at, doesn't matter. So I just uh, <laughs> I don't see why we even have. This game of playing resistance and a break, rather, uh, with the fish. There we go, it just tires out like that. Oh wow, that is definitely 4kg plus. It has to be, 4.39. 4.73 kg, hot damn. Very nice catch. Is it cloudy? Like, why the heck is it not bright outside still? Uh, yeah, there are morning clouds and the sun is right behind them. I think once it gets a little bit later on in the day, that's when uh, it'll get brighter. So let's throw it towards the island here. Look how beautiful it looks. See the sharp uh, drop-offs, the cliff there? That's going to be prime territory for fish. So beautifully done in terms of locations. Uh, just a uh, very bare bone game, I would say, and uh, buggy. Definitely bugs. Uh, the fish are happy though with the bugs. You know, that's a lot of food for them. And less catches for us. It's a win win for the fish. Alright, so nothing this way. We just have one, uh, one baz here. So we need them salmon. So let's throw a little bit that way. We know their fish here. And then after this cast, if we don't see a salmon here, we are going to move a little bit forward towards that island. And see how the fishing is there. Any day. Nice shrubbery here, I like that. Vegetation, rather. Alright, I'm not seeing anything, so I guess it's time to... Time to find that ideal spot. When you find that beautiful, you know, active spot, you just stay there for a while. Because you keep getting fish after fish after fish. I think this will be a good area. All right, let's go for it. Looks beautiful, I have to say. I know I'm repeating it over and over again. Underwater though, very bare. I really thought there'd be more vegetation or there'd be like a, a steep drop. I see a fish way in the distance there. Oh, and we have a muskie. Musky. Doesn't look too big though. 
Where are you going, fish? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, hit the boat. Yeah, there we go. One of the ways to tire out the fish is uh, for it to keep bumping its head against the boat. Two KG walleye. Not very big. We've already caught like two trophies. So that's sweet. Alright, let's do this again. So... Maybe behind, there might be more fish there that are coming out of the deep end. It looks like it's deeper to the right of us. Oh, there's walleye here. Prime walleye territory looks like. And bass. We don't want bass or either of them. Alright, well, there we go. If we lose the fish, we lose the fish. I don't care. I'm going to be just super aggressive with the break. It's a small one, so we don't really have to worry, actually. There we go. <clears throat> oh, tiny. Tiny baby. 1 to 2 kg, my guess. 1.34 kg. And he... This, this bass almost looks like a watermelon, doesn't it? Looks so refreshing. <laughs> Alright, let's throw... You know what? Let's throw closer to that place, to the island. And then we will go ahead and throw further away from the island. Into the deep end, or what looks like the deep end. Oh, look at that. Walleye. I don't think there's going to be any salmons here, though. Don't do it. Don't do it. Walleye, don't do it! No! We got a pike. Okay, you know what? It's been a long time since I've had a pike, so why not? Uh, it looks small though. But that's fine. No, actually, you know what? It looks medium sized. I am being super aggressive, so I might lose the, f lose the fish though. See, no matter what break I do, it still takes out line. It's, it's just, what the heck. Hmm, that looks chonky. 5.48 kg northern pike my biggest one yet personal record that is really cool you know what i enjoy it even though we're not catching salmons or trouts uh, we are still catching some really nice fish all right so let's go ahead and cast this way and see if the deep end works i cast it behind the boat opposite of where i've casted and uh, i got nothing Oh no, already? That was quick. Lots of bass here. The tiny little boy. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, you funny little fish. And you're done. Yep, you're done. There we go. I'm not even going to bother fighting it. Uh, beautiful, beautiful salmon, sorry, not salmon, bass, largemouth, Julio. Let's cast there again. We didn't even get a chance to check out if there were other fish at that spot. Ooh, something just uh, surfaced right here. Side of our boat. Oh, come on. Can't be serious right now. You know what? If I lose the line, I lose the line. I don't care. We're just going to crank up the brake, uh, brake to something really stupid. And we're just going to reel him in. We're not even going to give him a chat. Come on. Come on. See, even at 40 break, like what the hell? Still just... Alright, another 4kg plus. Uh, no, it's a 3.88, but we are now level 18. So cool. L gaining levels doesn't really do much though. It just gives you a little bit of money so you can buy more lures. That's pretty much it. I've already bought all the best gear there is in the game. 
<clears throat> such as the rod, reel, and line. The rod and the reel are both... Uh... <gasps> Salmon! Yes! No, no. Yes! Yes! There we go, guys. We got him. We got him. So the rod and the reel are both... Uh, visual, they have no stats to them, like, you know, when I went shopping, you, I, go, I showed you guys in the shop, there is no kg, like, you know, is this a 15 kilo reel, is this rated at 20 kg, uh, there's nothing like that, same with the reel, uh, the line is 30 pounds, I don't know what the heck I'm gonna, s what that means, if that makes it easier to catch fish, I really don't know, because that's the only one with a kg rating beautiful beautiful there you go that's a rainbow trout that's not a salmon no no let's try that again i was so happy to think that was a salmon oh my god leave me alone there's so many bass here it is nuts we ever have a competition in this lake, this is the place, honestly. I'm just gonna keep it at 40, I don't care. I lose the fish, I lose the fish. I know I say that every time, but this time I'm gonna be serious about it. Because we already have enough bass. And I think I got this guy. No? Yeah, there we go. I'm not even gonna bother moving the rod. Yep, there we go. Alright, that was a quick one. Yeah, look at the fish. Okay. I'm just gonna skip it, guys. Let's do it at 30 here. Oh, come on. 40 is the break we're gonna put it at. Nope, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> the fish love just jumping around. <laughs> That's all they pretty much do. There we go. Wow, okay. I got him. Small guy. Small guy though. 2 kg largemouth bass. Let's try that again. I don't think there's any salmons here though. Ooh, that is a brown trout. There you go. If we catch a brown trout, I'm cool with that. There's a catfish. Uh, so there's trouts here. No salmon yet. Don't do it. Don't do it. Good. No, 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 no. Good boy. No, no, no. Well, I that. <laughs> So many fish here. What an amazing spot just for regular fishing. Uh, but we are here for the salmon. So let's uh, let's get out of here, sadly, and try another spot. Amazing spot here. I need to like put this in a marker, like put a marker or something, but I don't have that feature in the game. So where do salmons live? I have no idea. I thought they lived, or they traveled down to the rivers for mating. Uh, that's pretty much it, but I mean, what kind of salmon lives in a lake? I have no knowledge, so if you, if you know anything about these guys, please comment below, let me know. <laughs> they just travel from the oceans to our freshwater uh, rivers, and they travel through the lakes into the rivers. Uh, to spawn, you know, to to mate and all that fun stuff. To lay eggs. Uh, but the only reason, yeah, you know what? The only reason they'll be in the lake is to travel towards a river. And this lake does not have anything connected to it. I think. Because I know in Lake Ontario here in Toronto, Canada, uh, we have salmons in our lake. But they travel up the river. So they're not in the lake permanently. They're just there to have some rest, I guess, to feed before they head up. 
But this lake is just secluded. Uh, do we have a map? See, there is no river or anything. What the heck? I thought this was based on real life lakes and stuff. It is. Lake Miller is actually real. This is all real stuff. But I guess the fish are imaginary. That's a very lazy, I think, uh, of the developers. Of not putting or making a river. And they just made a lake and that's it. Called it a day. Ooh, what is that? Is that a bass or is that a... Yeah, that is a bass. I'm gonna lose the fish, I don't care. Hurry up. I'm done with you, bass. Ah, we got the guy. He's not too big. And her break is... Mm, oh man, our break is insane. 40 break. This is what we have right now. So, no salmon here as well. Largemouth bass, 2.48. So, I'm going to keep traveling and see where I find these guys. Oh, wow. I got something huge here. I don't think I've caught this fish before. It's the pickerel or whatever you call it. It's not really fighting much, though. I guess that's good for us. Still taking out line, though. 18 meters out, 17, okay, good. He's gonna put in a huge burst of energy all of a sudden, and that's the issue I'm having. So we're gonna have to be ready for that. Look at how strong this guy is. He's just chilling. Uh, just like the catfish, really. Oh, wow. This is, I don't know, this looks like a trophy to me. 13 meters out. We are very... Uh, was that a good strike? I do not remember. Because if you have a bad strike, it's easier for the fish to get away. <laughs> See how he just takes the line all of a sudden? Wow. Man, look. Oh, oh, oh. Make it to 40. Looks like it's going to take a little bit of time here. Never had that long of a fight. Uh, this guy, though, might push us. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Just don't like it. What the heck? So all of a sudden, you decide to run off and max out my break. Let's just make him go around. Oh. Stop it. Stop it, you. This tough little booger here. Guy's huge, though. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to net him. Just don't lose this guy, though. That has to be a trophy, guys. That has to be a trophy. And it's a huge trophy. Too, it's not a little just by, you know, like if 10 kg is a trophy, this is like an 11 kg. No, this is like a 40 kg trophy. I'm just, you know, as an example, I have no idea how big this guy is. Looks 15 kg. 10 kg, maybe. Uh, still not coming in. He is 22 meters out. I think that's going to take some time, so I will see you guys soon. There we go. Wow. Look at this monster. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. Guys, this isn't even a trophy. A 20 kg tiger uh, muskalug or muskaluge muskalunch. And this is in a saint 20 kg. Wow. We came here for salmon and a look at what we just got. Catch summary. Largemouth bass. That was a trophy fish. 4.73. Wow, really? I don't even remember that that was a trophy. Whoops. A northern pike. There you go. That's our best catch yet. And look at that tiger muskalunch. Muskalunch, I think. I don't know. All right, I'll keep searching for that elusive... Salmon.
Alright guys, finally found the spot here. It's close to that Muscaluge 20 kg fish that we got. Uh, so still close to that spot, just throwing it from a different angle here. And at the spot I just saw, look at that, that's a brown or a, that's a trout rather, I think. And I did see salmon here. Oh, that's a salmon. Ooh, what did I get though? I don't know if that's a salmon or was that a pike? Uh, that looks like a brown trout to me. Where? Oh my god, this fish is so fast. Where is that? Uh, this fish is on steroids. What the heck? That is a brown trout, I would say. A tiny one. Yep. Look at- No, that's not a brown trout. Sorry, that's a rainbow trout. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? It's tiny. That's why its uh, colors aren't in yet. Let's cast another one here. I'm hoping to get salmon. Uh, so switching out lures, honestly, no need to. Like I have this worm and it's catching everything. I was using the lipless lure that we got, you know, when we started the game and I was catching all the different fish on that. So I really don't see a point of uh, buying specific lures unless there's a lure that only salmons like. You know, but uh, there there's no stats in the game and I don't know what to buy. I don't know what makes the difference. No? Yes! Poor strike, but we're just gonna make sure we don't overdo it. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, that's a beautiful color too. I love it. No, no. Oh, we got this. We got this. It's a poor strike, so if I push a little too hard, we might unhook the fish like right now. I gotta be careful. When it's a good uh, uh, strike or an excellent strike, uh, less of a chance, so we can push harder. Come on. Strong fish. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. Yes. Hoho -ho Salmon 8.34 kg. That's our best one yet. Nice. Well guys, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. And let me just show you what we've got. Largemouth bass, plenty of them. A walleye we've caught. Northern pike, we got our very personal best here. I uh, got a trophy large bass. Then we got a rainbow trout. Ooh, rainbow trout. And now remember guys, uh, when I started this episode, we did get another salmon, I believe. Uh, that was the Chinook. Salmon, if I remember correctly, I'm not too sure. Then we got the Tiger Muscalunge 20kg. It's not even a trophy, so that is just scary to see there are bigger fish in the pond. Wow, maybe next episode I can go for these uh, tigers. Please, please, please let me know if you want to see more. Because uh, there's no point for me to put so much effort and making more episodes if no one's going to watch it. So I really appreciate the likes on the video and the comments. It lets me know that you guys are interested. Uh, we got brown trout, rainbow trout, and coho salmon. So we've caught both types of salmon in this episode. We've caught a bonus tiger 20 kg monster in this episode. So I really hope you enjoyed it. And I will hopefully see you in the next episode. Until then guys, enjoy.